guys welcome to my channel if you are new you chose the perfect time because we are about to go to a really good restaurant it's in the toronto area more specifically it's in the etobicoke area we are so excited let's go <laughs> <laughs> you might be thinking, did she make a mistake spelling rumors? Nope, that is legitimately how it is spelled. Right when we walked in, we were greeted to a very talented saxophone player who played for at least an hour. The lungs on that guy are wild. You know what you think about in your head when you say, I'm going to dinner? That is what the atmosphere was like. It would be the perfect place for a one-on-one -on -one dinner date or even a birthday dinner with 10 plus people. And let's not get started on the drinks. We got the Long Islands and this has to be the best Long Islands we have ever had. We were in shock. <laughs> Stay tuned because we came to this restaurant twice and the second night we got a whole lot more off the menu. But for tonight we got some spicy fettuccine alfredo and some chicken steak with jollof rice and coleslaw on the side. Special shout out to that spicy fettuccine alfredo. That was probably the best pasta we have collectively had in our lives. It is beyond good. And it's all thanks to Chef D who you'll see right here. <laughs> 10 out of 10. We are on our way back to rumors. That's how good it is. I heard a rumor. Then rumors was good. That's so gross. <laughs> Chef D, how you doing? How do you feel to know that we're here twice in a row in less than 24 hours? Less is given obsessed and we're not even denying it. We are obsessed. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. So what were you getting today? The same thing we got yesterday, mm -hmm. and then a goosey, the platter as well. Yeah, and then the platter. Yeah. I'm so excited for this platter. Uh, wait, what? Why? What? Jenna, what the hell? Wow, you look so cute. Hi guys. How cute is this? Here is where the food extravaganza begins. It starts off with this platter. On this platter, we have beef suya, prawn suya, chicken suya, asun, spring rolls, samosas, and it also came with some sliced cucumbers on the side just to get that refreshing taste in between bites. And according to the menu, it can feed between four to six people. Of course, the spicy fettuccine Alfredo had to make a return. And we also have some goosey soup, plus some fried plantain, which is just a staple of a good meal. The food just just kept coming and coming and we were so excited to get this party on the road we felt like we were in a all-you-can-eat buffet if you ever get a chance to go to toronto or you live in toronto you have to go to this restaurant it is top tier chef d is incredible she has cooked for some top celebrities like israel adesanya kiss daniel and so much more you know instagram has to eat before you eat so my friends had to get their videos their photos and all their excitement up before we started our meal we decided that we wanted to play a little fun game and rate the food as we ate it so here are the results the first thing we tried was the samosas the spring roll some suya yasun meat, the chicken suya the shrimp of course we had to have some plantain it was a solid 7 out of 10. of course we had to get to that spicy fettuccine alfredo which will always and forever be a 10 out of 10. matter of fact it's a 12 out of 10 for me jenna and mooks gave it a 10 out of 10. next we tried the chicken steak with jollof rice this specific jollof rice was so good because it had a really smoky flavor which just enhanced the spices more we all agreed that the combined dish was a solid 10 out of 10. we wanted to try the egusi soup with pounded yam i personally gave it a 12 out of 10 mumpo gave it a 9 and jenna gave it a solid 10 out of 10 after trying it for her first time ever now we rank the food for me the first place winner was a spicy fettuccine alfredo followed by a goosey soup jollof rice with chicken steak plantain and the rumors meat platter for mooks her first place was also the spicy fettuccine alfredo followed by the jollof rice with chicken steak plantain a goosey soup and the rumors meat platter and for jenna her first ranking was surprisingly the a goosey soup spicy fettuccine alfredo jollof rice with chicken and steak plantain and the rumors meat platter. So between all of us, the top two dishes were definitely the goosey soup and the spicy fettuccine alfredo. Here's what was left over. As you can see, the spicy fettuccine alfredo is nowhere in sight because that meal was long gone. It was an amazing experience and we are definitely coming back here. We are officially done at the restaurant. It was a fun time. So if you're ever in the Toronto area and you wanna get some good ass Nigerian food, that place is your spot. That is the video. We gave it a thumbs up. 
You wish your thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>